Hi, it's Jack from CodeWiz. Today, I'll be showing you a robot that can solve a Rubik's Cube. I built this robot myself with Lego Mindstorms. Lego Mindstorms are essentially like smart Legos. Some of the parts include motors, sensors, and a central brick to control everything. This project, the MindCuber 2.0, was originally designed by David Gilday. The link to his project is in the description. First, the robot must be built. The guide is very comprehensive and is 111 pages long. It takes about three hours to finish. Now, I'll show you a time lapse of it being built. Now that we're done with building the robot, let's go over the key components that let it solve a Rubik's Cube. Firstly, there's an ultrasonic sensor. Ultrasonic sensors measure the distance between themselves and whatever they're pointing at. In this case, it's used to determine if a cube has been placed in the robot. There's also a color sensor in this project. This is what lets the robot scan the cube and figure out what color that it's looking at. This helps it determine the best solution. We also have three motors. These motors spin, flip, and move the cube in the sensors. Finally, we have the central brick, where all of the information is sent. Its job is to tell all of the sensors and motors what to do and to find the solution to the cube. Now, let's see it in action. Right now, I'm starting the program and initializing the robot. Next, I scramble the Rubik's Cube in a random way. Now, I put the cube in the tray and the ultrasonic sensor detects it. The robot now knows to start scaling the cube. The color sensor is moved into place as the cube rotates to capture all of the tiles on one side. Then, the cube is flipped to another side and scanned. This happens six times for all six sides of the cube. Once the cube is fully scanned, the brick takes all the results and finds a way to solve the cube. The flashing blue light on the color sensor means that it's working towards a solution. Once the robot finds a solution, it immediately starts on solving the cube. Now, the color sensor is not needed and it's up to the other two motors to spin, flip, and turn the cube into a solved state. This takes about 40 turns on average with this robot and the entire process takes about three minutes from scrambled to solved. Now, it's time to watch it work. The arm that flips the cube also holds it in place, and the base turns and rotates the cube. I hope you found this interesting. All credit goes to David Gilday for the design and the program. To build and program robots yourself with Lego Mindstorms, go to CodeWiz. They have all the materials you need, and they even have competitions with Mindstorms. Go to thecodewiz.com to learn more. Make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time on CodeWiz.